Hey guys, there's one more thing I want to talk about with the car. Um, when I took the, got the car out and we cleaned it up, a buddy helped me, a buddy who I pay to help me with my cars from time to time. He's a far better mechanic than I am. Um, for some reason, and I, and I noticed it yesterday when I, was, when I was filming, and I didn't quite understand. For some reason, when we were cleaning it up, he took a Brillo pad and scuffed up that front fender. So the fender now looks like it doesn't belong on the car. Um, it really bothers me. Um, it does go with the car. The patina is consistent on this car, which is one thing that I really love about it. What you would have to do at this point is either scuff up the rest of the car with the Brillo pad, because it'll, and it will look exactly the same as this, or just let it, you know, sit in the sun and it'll just chalk up like it did but right now to me it looks like a postage stamp on a letter and it makes the the uh patina look extremely inconsistent inconsi and it really bothers me but i thought i'd let you know that the fender isn't off something else it it hasn't been in an accident that i know of ever and you know fenders and doors and all that stuff lines up really good um so Thanks. Thought I'd let you know. Thank you. I think I'm going to sell my hearse, so I'm doing a quick video. Uh, 60 Cadillac hearse, of course. It uh, runs good. Stops good. I've taken it on, uh, I think the longest was a 100 mile round trip. I drive it up to the store, pick a pizza, um, gas station, car shows, and it drives well. Uh, when I fired it up to bring it out here, the gas is starting to seem a little old because I, uh, I haven't started it since April. And I think the gas is a little old in it. But uh, I'll get some non-ethanol gas hopefully tomorrow or the next day and put it in and mix it with it. And, and hopefully that's fine. But still, it's running fine. Started up fine, pulled it out, and it's fine. It just doesn't seem as smooth to me right now. But uh, I would drive this car across the country, but that's me. I don't recommend you do it. Matter of fact, I don't recommend you drive this car at all until you uh, have it safety checked because even though I drive it, I've done nothing to it to make it safer. The only things I've done were the fuel system when I got it. We had the, uh, I'm not a mechanic, but we had uh, my buddy works on my stuff for me and he put on uh, new fuel lines, new carburetor, had the uh, gas tank boiled and, it, and it's been good. Um, but I uh, haven't really done anything else to it. Like I said, it runs fine, runs fine around the neighborhood. But, but uh, you really should have, have a mechanic go through it because uh, it's a rusty car. And uh, who knows over time what's been done, going on underneath. Although from what I remember, the frame was solid when we got it, but the, but the body's pretty, pretty rough. You know, it's got plenty of uh, plenty of rust in the body. The car was originally, from what I know, was a California car and a Washington State car. God, I love that shot. You can see the trim is pretty shiny. The bumpers um, shine up pretty good. The paint, you know, you can see what's going on there. I love it this way. I think it looks good. If you wanted to redo the body, you can uh, certainly do that and go ahead and bankrupt your family doing it. But I like it the way it is. The glass, the expensive stuff, is good. You can see the two round panels here and then this is also round. If you ever broke it, I don't know what it would take to find a new one. But they're they're good, luckily. The other glass, the uh, windshield is cracked, and the windshields in these are are expensive. When I got it, I priced one out, and it was like eight hundred dollars. Uh, if you can see the crack or not, you probably can. It doesn't matter to me. That's why I never changed it. I really don't care. You might want to do it, and I know they're they're definitely more expensive than a typical windshield. I know they're taller. 
and a little more rare. The uh, inside, I'll show it to you, it needs to be redone, of course, the, everything's old. But the, uh, like the steering wheel is terrific, uh, the dash and stuff, all that stuff is, is not pitted up, it looks, it looks good. I'll show you in a minute. Driving this thing is a lot of fun. Uh, some people are very attracted to it. Other people want to run. Uh, for some reason, a lot of women love it. I don't know why, but they seem to uh, seem to really dig it and want to lay in the back. Okay. Um, let me show you the inside. First, we'll open this. You can see the carpet shot. Um, I have all the rollers, even though I don't have two of them in here right now. This back piece is wood, and the wood is almost all gone in the back. It was uh, it was really flaky, and my the guy who was my mechanic just started flaking it all off. So all that wood in the back is gone. Um, it's still stable to get in there, but this end, the end here is, uh, the wood is, is gone. Um, I tell you, when you drive it, and you put these, I wish I would have put these down, these big windows on either side, driving along with those windows down is really great experience. Get a lot of air, and it's, it's a lot of fun to drive. Let me show you the, the inside. The seat, you know, is very rough. I keep this blanket on it. Uh, and then there's another blanket on it. It's not worth, I guess it's not really worth me lifting out. It's the seat's shot. I sit on these blankets. Uh, this guy came with the car when I bought it, and I guess he goes with the car. Seems to make sense to me. Um, Look how nice the steering wheel is. I know the sun's in front of us and it's hard. Um, even like the marks that you see in the steering wheel are not marks. They're uh, it's just uh, dirt or whatever you want to call it. But the steering wheel is really nice. And that stuff is nice. Um, the dash is nice. Uh, this, you know what? I'm gonna reshoot this because the sun's coming in and you can't see it. Okay, two things if, I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but uh, the tires, they hold air and they have tread, but they're old as dirt. I mean, the tires need to be changed. I drive on them, but I don't recommend anyone else does. And it leaks tranny fluid. This car leaks tranny fluid. Uh, car's been sitting out in front of my house all day. We'll see what kind of fluid is under it after uh, we get back but it leaks a good amount of uh, tranny fluid something i'm not going to fix you can see the interior um steering wheel is really nice i mean it's super nice you can see that it's not everything's not all pitted up the the, the chrome or pop metal whatever it's called but it's actually in really nice shape The, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but when I got it, it didn't come with the key. And the guy who sold it to me didn't even care to look. So I had to have a new key put in and uh, everything worked here, the lights and everything worked. After the key went in, my buddy put the key in, none of this worked anymore. And we haven't gone back to try and figure it out. So you'd have to relift the top of the dash, which comes up pretty easy and find whatever problem he did. Let's fire it up and go. Like I said, it, that older gas is spitting and sputtering a little bit. Me and my neighbor you get a lot of reactions to this thing. But it runs pretty good. 
see if we can make this turn. It's a big car. I'll be back. I'm making a video. I'll be back. Anyway, my dash, you can see, is dirty. I uh, washed the car yesterday, and I think it's just water spots. But uh, it's very dirty. The car runs pretty good. Like I said, it's got older gas, and I think it's uh, not running as smooth. But it does run good. I'll get some non-ethanol gas and mix it, and I'm sure it'll run much better. It breaks good, it doesn't get hot. Seems to be maybe smoothing out a little bit. But it is loud, there's definitely exhaust leaks. Stuff that it's never really, you know, didn't matter to me. I do wish I would have cleaned the windshield. Well, I did clean the windshield, I think it's full of water spots. I wish I would have out the window a little better and my neighborhood has uh, speed bumps that we just hit I hate them anyway let's see what we have there for uh, for training fluid Actually, not much, just a few drops, but it does leak. I want to make sure it, you know that it's got, it's got a good leak. But I didn't see much there, and it's been sitting outside all day. So that's it. I promise you. You will have a lot of fun. My neighbor is calling me from down the road, so I'm going to walk, go over and walk by her. But uh, I, there's not much more you can get that's, that's more fun than this car. You're going to have a great time, and Halloween's coming up. Any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to help any way I can.